Hi there, and thank you for tuning in on this demo session. My name is Mozier, and I will be your demo host. The demo we will watch is Verbis for Translation Workbench. So let's get to it. In today's demo, we will actually watch how to handle object and custom labels for both standard and object with namespace. So for the demo purpose of the use case, I will need to start in the translation workbench. The first thing you need to do is to choose which languages you want to translate to. Then you press on export in the menu to the left and choose source. Press on export as xlib file. If you want, you can actually download it but it's not necessary. We just want to make sure that we press that button to trigger it to the server. With that said, Verbis is built native on Salesforce, which means that we basically live in the same servers. Therefore, we will be able to grab your export directly from the server. Now, we switch our view to the application Verbis. The first thing we will do inside Verbis is to start a new translation project. Therefore, we press a new. When you do that, a new pop-up window will appear where Verbis will ask you where from Salesforce you want to bring your content. Since Verbis works across all Salesforce clouds, you will have all the options that are connected to your Verbis connector license. In this scenario, we choose import project from translation workbench. From here, you configure your project by deciding if it's going to be a custom object or a standard object. Then you select a file. Here you can either upload your file if you downloaded it from the previous view in the tr translation workbench, or you just press browse and take what's already on the server. In the next step of the configuration of the translation project, you now get to choose which standard objects you should work with for translation. As you see to the right, you can also choose which field inside that object you want to translate. In this case, I will choose buttons, custom field, pick list, and then I will go and submit it. When you submit the configuration of your translation project, you can see the tab main content and ensure that you actually chose the correct file version. You can now switch to the tab named versions. Here you will see your translations for each specific language. We have your list of different versions you can easily open up each version and start proofreading the content. When you open up each version, you have machine translated content to the left side and main content to the right side. From here, if an edit needs to be done, it can be done immediately in the text editor below. When you have proofread it, you now submit it for approval. You then need to repeat these steps for all versions and then when all versions are approved you can go to the tab file. In the tab file you will now need to download that specific source file. When you have downloaded that then we can switch back to the translation workbench again where you need to go back to and import the file we downloaded from Verbis translation workbench will start to import this as a batch process. So thank you guys for listening in to this demo session for Verbis for translation workbench. Don't forget, Verbis works across all Salesforce cloud. It can be configured into details for every specific company and it comes with its own translation memory for specific use of different terminologies that is very defined for your industry or for your company. Don't hesitate to reach out to us if you would like to have a tailored demo and we will set that out for you. Thank you for your time.